Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 118, If Formula for Commission. All right, here's the question sent in from Pakistan. I want to calculate the uh, commission account amount to be distributed based on who's here. So this is A for absent, P for present. If both people are here, we split the commission 50-50. If only one person is here, they get 100% of the commission. If no one is here, if there were no sales reps present, no commission paid that day. All right, so when we think about this, uh, what it really comes down to is an if statement. If you're here, if there's a P, then you're going to share in this commission here, the sum of this commission, divided by the number of people that were here. So let's go equal if. this is equal to present, then we're going to split the money. So we're going to say the sum of these two numbers. Now I want to lock down just the G and the H and so I'm going to press F4 three times. One, two, three times. You see now I have a dollar sign before the G, before the H and that range will continue to uh, point to G to H even when I copy it to the right. But the 5 is allowed to change to 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so everything's good there. So we're going to take that sum divided by the count if. We're going to look through the A's and P's over here. Again, I'll press F4 1, 2, 3 times and see if it's equal to present. And that has to be caps. Did I? Yeah, good. P in quotes, there we go. Okay, so the sum of uh, total commission for that day divided by the count of the number of people that were there. Need a quote there. Uh, and so now we're done with the value of true. And if you were not here, then you get zero. Zip. All right. Now, what's going to happen when both people are absent right here? The count if is going to be zero, and something divided by zero is going to be an error. But here's the beautiful thing. We'll never get there unless one person is present. If you're not present, if no one's present, this part of the formula will never be evaluated and we won't have to worry about it. So there's our formula. We copy it throughout and here where uh, one person is present, they get the whole commission. Both people are present, they split the commission. The other person present and we can even test it here. Uh, make both people be present, they get 450 each. Make both people be absent, they get nothing. One person gets the whole thing or the other person, it works, there you go. So uh, just kind of calculate the uh, total commission divided by the number of people that are there, but only pay it uh, to the people that are there and that avoids the whole division by zero error. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Just a moment of silence to appreciate the beauty and efficiency of this formula. Absolutely beautiful. Mr. Excel, why do they call him Mr. Excel? Because he can come up with amazing formulas like this and do VBA. You're not going to believe what I tried to do with this problem. I saw this as a two value lookup problem. So we had an A and A, a P and A, a PP, and an AP. Those are all the possibilities. And so look at this ridiculous formula. I tried to use the choose and look up one, two, three, or four, and then run four different either numbers or calculations for each one of these values. In essence, what happened was I got stuck in a two lookup value conceptual channel and didn't think outside the box. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, I can't really improve upon that. Maybe uh, we could look at the same form, but what if we didn't have these uh, summary columns here? We'd have to basically do the same formula, except for we'd have to check uh, calculate that commission right inside the formula. So we're going to do our same test. Hey, is relative sale reference equal to P? If it is, well, we're going to have to add up these total sale figures and lock that column reference but not the row and multiply times the commission. So that's the only difference with this formula, right? And we can divide by count if. And I'm going to say count if. Lock the column one, two, three times on the F4. And then we'll count how many P's there are. Now, by the way, we don't need to put parentheses around this because this will work left to right. The order of operations will work perfectly. Comma, 
the value of false, hey, I'll put a null text string this time, double quote, double quote instead of a 0. Control Enter. Copied over and down. All right, so it does the same thing there without that summary column. Uh, 10 points to Mr. Excel. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, Mike, all right, that's good. Thanks for improving on my formula, getting rid of the uh, intermediate calculations. I felt so bad when you said you were stuck in a two lookup conceptual channel. It sounds like being stuck in quicksand. That's quite a formula you had there. I, I do want to point out, I've been watching this for the last couple of weeks, if uh, you notice in Mike's uh, ribbon, the ribbon tabs, you know, home, insert, page layout formulas, somehow his data uh, is not in all caps. People hate these all caps here. Uh, that's cool, Mike, that you uh, managed to change data back to upper and lower case, but you didn't change them all to upper and lower case just to, just to say, hey, I know how to do this, but I'm not going to be obnoxious and do it everywhere. Uh, for those of you who want to get in Excel 2013 back to upper and lower case, you have to customize the ribbon and rename this tab to be data with a space. Cool trick, Mike. I, I've noticed the, the last couple of times, but I didn't have time to mention it. All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.